Welcome to Topical Scripture Readings, Sabbath, Part 9, with the Yabajin. Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah, Chapter 13, Verse 15 In those days saw I in Yehuda some treading wine presses on the Shabbat, and bringing in sheaves and lading donkeys, as also wine grapes and figs and all manner of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Shabbat and I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 16 There dwelt men of Sor also therein which brought fish and all manner of ware and sold on the Shabbat unto the children of Yehuda and in Jerusalem. Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 17 Then I contended with the nobles of Yehuda and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do and profane the day of Shabbat? Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 18 Did not your fathers thus and did not our Elohim bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Yasharel by profaning the Shabbat. Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 19 And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Shabbat, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened till after the Shabbat. And some of my servants set eye at the gates, that there should no burden be brought in on the Shabbat. Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 21. Then I testified against them, and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so, again I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Shabbat. Ezra v. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 22. And I commanded the Levayim that they should cleanse themselves, and that they should come and guard the gates to sanctify the day of Shabbat. Remember me, O Elohai, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. Ezra Shalishi, 3rd Ezra, chapter 1, verse 58. Until the land had enjoyed her Shabbat, the whole time of her desolation shall she rest until the full term of seventy years. Ezra Shalishi, 3rd Ezra, chapter 5, verse 52. And after that, the continual oblations and the sacrifice of the Shabbats and of the new moons and of all holy feasts. Maccabim Rishon, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 39. Her sanctuary was laid waste like a wilderness. Her feasts were turned into mourning, her Shabbats into reproach, her honor into contempt. Maccabim Rishon, 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 43. Yea, many also of Yasharel consented to his religion, and sacrificed unto idols, and profaned the Shabbat.
Maccabeam Rishon, 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 45, and forbid ascending smoke offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Shabbats and feast days. Maccabeam Rishon, 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 32, they pursued after them a great number, and having overtaken them, they camped against them and made war against them on the Shabbat. Maccabeam Rishon, 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 34, But they said, We will not come forth, neither will we do the king's commandment to profane the Shabbat. Maccabeam Rishon, 1 Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 38. So they rose up against them in battle on the Shabbat, and they slew them with their women and children and their cattle to the number of a thousand people. Thank you for watching. Topical Scripture Readings, The Sabbath, Part 9. And with that, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom.